it's something that uh, I've been working on since I arrived in the United States Senate, uh, and it's something that uh, I've put forward a series of proposals on uh, as president. I believe that we should aspire to the goal of no nuclear weapons. It will be a hard, long road for us to travel, but we have to start setting our sights at that future. Uh, we're now in a period of time when uh, we have to maintain a nuclear deterrent, a strong nuclear deterrent, because other countries have nuclear weapons. Uh, but we have to reverse the Bush policy of looking to expand our own new, uh, nuclear arsenal. Uh, if we want to credibly control the spread of nuclear weapons around the world. So as president, we should, uh, as president, I will immediately begin talks with the Russians about reducing our nu nuclear stockpiles, about taking uh, our nuclear missiles off hair trigger, uh, hair trigger alert improving verification systems, uh, reinstating uh, or, or restarting our conversations around the comprehensive test ban treaty. Uh, all those things strengthen our hand when it comes to dealing with Iran and North Korea and other countries that might aspire for nuclear weapons. Because part of what's happened is, is that the whole uh, nuclear non-proliferation regime has been deteriorating. Uh, our basic strategy was, we're not gonna worry about controlling the weapons, we're just gonna go after the bad actors, the members of the Axis of Evil. Uh, and uh, that strategy is short-sighted. What we need to do is to have uh, all countries, first of all, lock up loose nuclear weapons, uh, which are still floating out there, many of them coming out of, or at least nuclear materials that have come out of uh, regions like the former Soviet Union. We could do that within four years if we were aggressive about it. We know how to do it, building off of what was done with um, uh, a series of, of uh, proposals and plans put forward by Dick Luger and Sam Nunn back in the 90s. Uh, and I've been working with Senator Luger uh, to advance the next phase of uh, proposals to interdict uh, and control loose nuclear weapons around the world. So we have, to, we have to move aggressively on that. And then the second thing is we've got to get buy-in from all countries that uh, we are going to maintain a non-proliferation regime. And we've got to be a part of that. Uh, the bottom line is this. America can't just lead by trying to impose its will on other countries. America also has to lead by deed and by example. Uh, and Nuclear weapons is a primary area where we can lead by deed and by example, and that will ultimately make us also more secure. Yes, sir. Have you tried to uh, repair relations with some of the countries that may have lost faith in America? Well, I, I think that uh, this is going to be the biggest challenge of the next president. And one of the reasons I am running for president is because I'm the day I'm inaugurated, the world looks at, uh, at America differently. Uh, and that offers us then the opportunity to start anew uh, with a clean slate. That doesn't mean it will be easy, because there's been a lot of damage done as a consequence of the war, but also uh, the rhetoric that's come out of the Bush administration. Uh, so step one is to end this war. Step two is to close Guantanamo, restore the right of habeas corpus, uh, once again affirm that we are governed by rule of law and that we believe uh, in civil liberties not just when there's no threat, but we believe it when there is a threat. That's exactly the time when we are most tested in our beliefs. Uh, and we have to affirm that. That would uh, obviously be extremely helpful. And that's why I think we have to do is we have to go back uh, before the world. I look forward to going before the United Nations and saying, America's back. Uh, America's ready to lead. Uh, we will lead by getting out of the wrong battlefield in Iraq and getting on the right battlefield, uh, going after Al Qaeda and bolstering our efforts to stabilize Afghanistan. We will lead by locking down loose nuclear weapons and reinvigorating the non proliferation regime. But we're also
also going to lead by attending to those issues that are most urgent for billions of people around the world. Uh, see, I, I want to work with other countries in a serious way around climate change. And for us to do that, we have to recognize, A, we've got to deal with our own greenhouse gases, and B, then we can start engaging the Europeans who've already been frustrated about our lack of progress here. And we can start having serious conversations with the Chinese and Indians about it. Uh, we should also lead on building schools uh, around the world that give educational opportunities to those who've been locked out. Uh, if, if young men uh, around the world are feeling disempowered and are uneducated and unemployable, uh, their lives begin to be filled up with violence and chaos, and they become violent and chaotic. When young women uh, are not given educational opportunity, it stunts the growth of all nations. The single biggest indicator of whether or not a nation is going to be developed is uh, whether or not it's girls and women are educated. So we need to build schools around the world to teach math and science and agricultural sciences instead of hatred of Americans and hatred of Israel. Uh, we need to uh, take seriously uh, our global efforts to deal with public health issues like HIV and AIDS in Sub-Saharan Africa and malaria. And I've called for a doubling of our foreign aid so that we can deal with those issues in a serious way because our own security in part depends on the public health infrastructure in areas like Sub-Saharan Africa. At a time when a disease can hop on a plane and be on our shores in seven, eight hours, we've got to take that seriously. I want us to lead on uh, issues like genocide in Darfur, uh, something that we have not been able to lead effectively on in part because we're bogged down uh, in Iraq. Uh, and so the, the combination of us acting in a way that's true to our ideals and our values, at the same time as we are listening to other countries and saying, we want to engage with you on those things that are of your con that are of concern to you. That will help us, uh, I think, start lifting uh, the reputation of America uh, again, and, and that will then, in turn, allow us to be more effective in mobilizing the international community around putting pressure on countries like Iran. All right, guys, I know I've got to go. But I, I thank you all very much uh, for your uh, attendance. And remember what I said, we would love to have you guys involved. Pick up one of these cards afterwards. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff in, in the coming uh, weeks and months. And everybody, especially young people, they say you don't caucus. We need you to caucus. Thank you, everybody.